Hello everyone, I'm the Chief Technology Officer for Phygenix. I'm going to show you some chest x-rays. And actually this is a, a very famous plate. It was published in 1986 by a guy named Bartlett who did some really good work in legionellosis research way back in the early 80s. Now I've put a, a chest x-ray right at the very top. See where it says healthy? Now that's just a normal chest x-ray of a person who has normal lungs no infection you can see the diaphragm you can see the spine in the background but you don't see any lung tissue because the x-rays go right through there the tissue is uh, fragile and doesn't stop x-rays they just pass right through now look at these four micrographs this is from a patient who comes to the hospital see the upper left where it says admission this is the patient when he comes to the hospital and then right next to that is four days later and see how cloudy the lungs look that's from the infection that's from the pneumonia without treatment this person would die very quickly because of the infection and all the pneumonia now he doesn't die because he's in hospital and is treated with antibiotic he survives so this is an example of someone who gets legionellosis and survives the acute illness now look at the x-ray the chest x-ray on the bottom left it says one year this is what the patient looked like the same patient one year later and the next to it seven years later you see the kind of cloudy image in the lungs this is from damage to the alveolus and all the lung tissues this damage is irreparable in many cases leading to debilitation lifelong reduction in quality of life and damage to the lung tissue that in many cases just is never repaired. And that is the reason why preventing the acute illness is necessary. Surviving the acute illness through treatment with antibiotics is not good enough. We must prevent the illness by managing building water systems properly because even surviving the acute illness may, in fact, result in long-term, life-changing debilitation.